So in this video, we're gonna do a basic step-by-step -step trading view tutorial for 2022. So this will be an updated version of the video we created about a year ago, the Trading View Tutorial 2021, which is actually the most viewed and most liked video ever on this channel. So I really hope this updated version for 2022 will provide some value to you guys as well. So in this video, we will focus on the very basics of Trading View, such as how to actually get started, uh, how to create an account, how to open up a chart and some simple tools you can use to actually get started with your technical analysis right away. And some real quick things here before we get started is that first of all, I will have chapters on this video. So if you're only interested in looking at a specific part, make sure to use the video times timestamps to jump to wherever you want in this video. And also, if you, for example, think that I'm too slow, talking too slow in this video, uh, there is an option on YouTube that you can use to speed me up. Because in this type of videos, I will always prioritize to be rather too slow and explain everything step by step than go too fast. So if you think I'm too slow, make sure to speed me up. But all right, guys, I think we're ready to get started right away here. All right, so to get started with TradingView, the very first thing you want to do is that you want to go to tradingview.com. And in this video, I will use Google Chrome, but I don't think it makes any difference if you use, for example, Explorer or Firefox. Uh, the site might look a bit different if you are on mobile, but I think pretty much everything in this video will apply on mobile as well. But I'm personally using go Google Chrome. So the first thing you want to do is go to tradingview.com. And the very first thing we do want to do is that we need to sign up for TradingView. And the reason we want to sign up is because if we don't sign up, we will always get a pop-up window that looks like this. And every time we get this window, all our work will actually disappear. So it is very important to sign up. And there are a couple of different ways you can sign up for TradingView. They have different plans depending on what your goal is as a trader and how serious you actually are when it comes to trading. It is important, in my opinion, to note that TradingView actually has a very good free plan, in my opinion, so you can create a, an account totally for free here. But if you want access to all the tools, indicators and want an ad free experience, there are other plans for that as well. And for the sign up, I have actually managed to get a special link for you guys. I will have the link both in the description of the video. It will say here trading view sign up link. And you can also find the sign up link in the top comment of this video. Uh, if you use this link to sign up, you can get up to a $30 bonus. And at the same time, that really helps our channel because I will get a small commission if you use this link and then later on decide to upgrade to a premium or pro plan. So signing up using this link is hopefully a very good win-win situation for both of us. So let's click on this link. It got referred to TradingView because someone thought you'd benefit from a ton of technical analysis features, da 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 da. You can cross this one, uh, accept the cookies. But now guys, let's take a look at the different type of TradingView plans and what different pros and cons uh, we have here between the different types of sign up. All right, guys, so if you're just getting started here with TradingView, I would probably personally choose between either getting the free account. So there is a version that is totally free. Uh, it's called Try Free Basic here. And you can basically start that account by clicking on the link and then scroll down a bit here and it says Try Free Basic. So this plan is totally free. If you are completely new to TradingView and plan on maybe not using it too much, just using it a little here and there, this is definitely a good option to start out. I personally started off using this option before I actually upgraded my plan. Another option you can definitely use here is that you can try any of the plans, Pro, Pro Plus and Premium. You can actually try all of these if you want to for 30 days. So if you want to get the full TradingView experience with all of the technical indicators, all of the functions, ad-free and so on, then I would definitely suggest to try the 30 days for free. And to unlock your free 30 days, you basically just press one of these blue buttons depending on what plan you're going for. So there are quite a few differences here between Pro, Pro Plus and Premium. And in my opinion, the Pro version is definitely good enough. Some of the benefits I personally enjoy a lot. First of all, we have ad free and pop up free, so you won't have all the annoying pop up ads. You can have up to five indicators per chart. And I personally, usually when I do technical analysis, I think I use about four indicators and not more. So this version is pretty good. You can have two charts in one video. 
that is very nice. So in my opinion, the pro version is actually super good. Uh, if you want to go even harder, you have the pro plus and the premium. If you want to, you can pause this video here and read about the benefits or read about the benefits by clicking on this link. But when starting out, I wouldn't really go uh, further than pro. But of course, if you want to go all in and get all of the benefits of TradingView, you can definitely check out the premium. And if you want to, you can at least try it for 30 days. And let's say here that you choose the pro version and you want to try it for 30 days for free. Then you basically click here and you can sign up here using either Google, Facebook, or email and you will have your standard you know sign up process I won't really go into it in this video because it's a very quick and easy sign up process all right so now when you have signed up and it's at tradingview.com your starting screen will look something like this here in the very middle you will have some of the most common markets you can see we have for example Bitcoin Tesla and Apple these are some very traded markets and probably the most common ones uh, here on the right side you will have a pre-made watch list Later on, you will be able to make your own watch list uh, where you basically place your markets you are currently interested in. You can, for example, make a watch list of your current trades. You can make a watch list of the trades you are about to make and so on and so on. But here in the beginning, you will have a pre-made watch list. Some of the most common markets here. We, for example, have the SPX. This is probably the largest index in the whole world, a stock index. Uh, if we look down here, you have some common stocks, you know, Apple, Tesla, Netflix. If you scroll down even more, you will also, of course, have some crypto. We have Bitcoin, we have Ethereum, but you don't really have to focus on the watch list right now. Because the very first thing I do want to talk about in this video is basically how to open up a chart. So how do we actually get started here? The easiest way is to probably use the search bar here, here in the middle of the start screen. You can see it says search markets here. And if you press this uh, search market, you will basically get a list of all the markets pop up. And the fastest way to search for a particular market is actually not to type out exactly what you're looking for, but you want to type out the ticker symbol. So for example, if we wanna get the Apple stock chart, we actually don't want to type Apple here, but preferably we do want to type the ticker symbol. And for Apple, the ticker symbol is AAPL. You can see here it says symbol AAPL. And the reason you want to type the ticker symbol and not the name here is because then TradingView will know right away exactly what you're looking for. So here we can see AAPL. This is Apple, the company, and you can see here traded on NASDAQ. So here, you know, we have Apple and it's traded in the US. So this is the Apple we are looking for. And if you want to launch the Apple chart, you basically, you can either click uh, right here or you can press launch chart. All right, so right now we're looking at the Apple chart and every green and red bar you can see on this chart is actually what we call candlesticks. And in this particular case, every candlestick on this chart represents one day. So every candlestick right here is one training day. And what the chart basically tell us is that on the vertical axis, we have the price. For example, you can see here that Apple uh, most recently traded at around 177. You can see here on the vertical axis, 177. And here on the horizontal axis, you can see the date. So if you look down to the bottom right corner, you can see here that Apple on 31st of December traded at 177. If you just go here to a random spot on the chart, so for example, we go here to October 28th, you can see here that on October 28th, Apple traded at around 152. We can go to another random spot here, for example, on October 6th here, Apple traded at around 140. And by the way, right now we got this pop-up window and in order to avoid this one, you need to start your free uh, trial here or this pop-up window will continue to pop up here. But what we can do is that we can cross cross that one if you're using the basic version. And right now I'm actually using an account that is using the basic version. But all right, okay, so now when you have an understanding how to read the chart, now you may wonder here, you know, how do we actually navigate the chart? So how do we zoom in and how do we zoom out and how do we, you know, move around the chart here? Well, the first thing and what I just recently did to move the chart around like this is that you basically hold your left click uh, and then you can drag around the chart like this. If you want to change uh, the vertical axis, what you basically can do is that you hold on the vertical axis. So you hold with your left click once again, you can drag up and down and you can see that this sort of scale of the price changes. So if you want to zoom, zoom in, you can drag up. If you want to zoom out, you can drag down like this. 
You can also do the same thing with the horizontal axis. So if you want more info, you can hold and drag the horizontal axis and you can zoom out here. You can see you can zoom in, you can zoom out. So if you want more price data, you can zoom out a bit here and then you can hold and drag to wherever on the chart you want to go like this. You can also using your scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom horizontally. So this is usually how I personally na navigate this chart is that I move around like this and then I scroll using the mouse. So if I navigate fast on the chart, I drag around, I scroll to move horizontally and when I need to move vertically, I basically hold the vertical side like this. So this is some basics on how to move around the chart. Now you may actually wonder, you know, what is this bars here under the chart? Well, this bars right here under the actual price, this is volume bars. So in simple terms, these bars right here basically tell you how much volume is traded that day. For example, you can see this day where we had a large green bar. So this day right here, you can see this large green bar right here. On that day, we had a lot, a lot of trading activities. So, so many people were trading Apple that day. One reason could be that Apple saw some news that day it, or that some key technical pattern recently happened or something like that. We will not talk too much about the volume bars in this video, but the important thing to understand is basically that these bars tell you how much is actually traded. So when we have small bars, we have low activity. When we have tall bars, we have high trading activity. If you for some reason want to disable the volume, you can go, go up to the left top corner and you can see it where, where it says vol here. If you go a tiny bit to the right here, you can see it says hide. And if you want to hide the volume bars, you can basically click hide here and you can see that the volume bars disappear from the chart. So the next thing I do want to look at in this video is the time frame. So as I said earlier in the video, right now, every candlestick on this chart represents one day. But as you know, some traders prefer to trade on smaller time frames, where for example, every candlestick is just five minutes or even one minute. And some traders prefer to zoom out and trade time frames where every candlestick is one week and so on and so on. So to change the time frame on the chart, you basically go up to the top left corner here and you go to where it says a D here and it says one day. If you click on this one, you will have multiple choices here of time frames. You can see you have seconds, minutes uh, and hours here. A common time frame is the one hour time frame. So if we click on this one, now every candlestick on this chart represents one hour. So you can see that we are zoomed out a bit here. And in order to zoom into a more uh, readable chart, you can, as we talked about, you can change the vertical axis by zooming, dragging and holding. You can drag up, you can use the axis like this. And now you can see here, every candlestick represents one hour and the chart looks completely different. If we want to change the time frame once again, we can go up once again here and for example, change to five minutes. So right here, every candlestick now represents five minutes. Once again, we can zoom in here. So when traders talk about different time frames, this is basically what they talk about. You usually hear terms such as the five minute time frame, the one hour time frame, daily, weekly, and so on and so on. Uh, another function when it comes to zooming on the chart is the auto zoom function. And you will have that function down in the corner, in the right corner where it says auto. If you press this auto right here, then when you move the chart like this, the chart will actually zoom automatically for you. So for example, if you go here, you can see it zooms in and out on the chart automatically here, depending on how the chart looks like. So you may want to use this auto function. Personally, I never use it. I prefer to zoom myself. So I prefer to choose my own axis. So if I want to zoom out, I use this axis. If I want to zoom horizontally, I use this axis. But if but you may actually want to use the auto zoom function here. You can basically try out how you think that feels. To the left of the auto function, you have something called log. And this will actually change the scale of the chart to a log scale or logarithm scale. So if you click this one, you will actually notice that the axis of the chart will change. And what the log scale basically tells you is that every distance you travel on the chart will be the same amount of percentage. So for example, you can see this distance we, tra we, we travel right here from around 14.50 to around 22. If we travel the same distance up here, you can see that we will travel a lot more dollars. For example, here we travel from 105 pretty much to all the way up to 177. So the same distance traveled 
down here compared to the distance traveled up here, you can see that we travel different dollar amounts. So you may wonder here, when is the log scale chart actually useful? Well, the log scale chart is mostly useful when you are zooming out on long periods of time. Because if you want to be able to see price changes that happened a long time ago, for example, you can see the price changes we saw here way back in April 2016. Here we can actually see uh, more clearly how the price move at that period. But if we take off the log scale here, you can see that if we zoom out, you can see that pretty much all the price action long, long time ago has very, very small movements and the price action recently have much more significant on the non-logarithm chart. So you can see how different the log chart looks compared to the normal chart. Let's take a look at one thing before we wrap this video up. By the way, this is part one of a series, so I will create a lot of more videos on TradingView and all the tools. But the last thing I do want to talk about in this video is if you go here to the right or where it says day, uh, you have something called candles. And if you press this one, you can see that you can choose different types of charts. In my opinion, the best and the one I'm using personally is the candle chart, which we're looking at right now. But some people, for example, prefers to use the bars. So if we click here on bars, you will see that the appearance will be a bit different. You can see here we have bars here. They pretty much tell you exactly the same thing as candles, but some people prefer to read the chart like this. You also, if you want to change once again, you also of course have the simple line chart here, which you know pretty much no traders use because the candle charts give you much more information about the price action than simple lines. But some people, per perhaps you want to use a line here. You also have some special types of candles. For example, this one, this is a special type of candlestick, but we won't go into it too much in this video. But all right, guys, I think that's pretty much it for this one. If you feel like you got any kind of help or value, then please consider dropping a like. And if you guys are interested in more, then don't hesitate to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day, and I hope we'll see you guys in the next video. But for now, guys, take care. Ciao, ciao.